I thought maybe you weren't coming out of it. That would have been a shame. <laughs> you might want to take a moment. In the meantime, I thought we could chat. You can't do this. And yet, here we are. <laughs> you know, funny story, after the Union Ally article, I inquired as to whether you needed further attention. The feeling was you'd already done whatever damage you could, so it wasn't necessary. You were a nobody. A very small cog in the machine, so... An offer was made through a third party, a legal agreement, one you signed, in exchange for a reasonable amount of money. Well, reasonable to you. You were supposed to go away, Miss Page. Fade back into wherever people like you fade, but you made a choice. And that choice has brought you here on this night, at this particular moment in time. Perhaps that's the way it was always gonna be. Perhaps we're destined to follow a path none of us can see, only vaguely sense as it takes our hand, guiding us towards the inevitable. Is that supposed to scare me? No, no. no this is. Hello, could you uh, like nod or something? Do you love this city? What? It's a simple question. Do you love this city? I... I, um... I haven't been here long enough. Huh. I find a few days, a week at most, is ample time to form an emotional response. Growing to love something is really simply forgetting slowly what you dislike about it. I'll be perfectly honest, the situation calls for it. I do not love this city. The crush of the unwashed garbage stacked on the sidewalk, the air that seems to adhere to your skin, a layer of filth you can never completely wash away. Maybe you should move. Uh. <laughs> I'm not here because I want to be. I'm here because I'm needed. By Fisk? He loves this city. In a way you and I never could. I don't expect you to understand that. There are moments when even I struggle to, but he does very deeply. Almost, I suspect, as much as he loves his mother. Frankly, I was surprised she remembered you. Recent memories for her, fleeting gossamer, often plucked from grasp by the slightest breeze, but you, you left an impression. A nice blonde lady with the big blue eyes. And the man you were with, Mr. Yurik, I'm guessing. <sighs> My employer, sorry. Old habits. Mr. Fisk, as I said, loves his mother. He would be extremely disturbed if he knew you'd found her, even more so that you've been to see her. You haven't told him? He's preoccupied with more important matters, so I've taken it upon myself to address the situation. If you're going to kill me, just do it. I'm sick of listening to your bullshit. <laughs> I'm not here to kill you, Miss Page. I'm 
here to offer you a job. So after all of this, I'm supposed to what? <laughs> Be your secretary? The position I have in mind is a little more involved. You've proven yourself resourceful, tenacious, with a commendable ability to convince others that your way is the right one, the way that needs to be followed, pursued despite the obvious repercussions such actions may incur. Is that even English? Uh, simply stated, you're going to convince Mr. Yurik that everything is fine, that you were wrong, that Wilson Fisk is a good man, a man this city needs. And then you are going to spread the gospel to everyone you've infected with your negative point of view. I'd rather die first. But you won't be the first to die, Miss Page. No, no, I think Mr. Urich will have that honor. Then we'll go to your place of employment, see to Mr. Nelson, Mr. Murdoch. After that, your friends, family, everyone you've ever cared about. And when you have no tears left to shed, then... Then we'll come for you, Miss Page. I think this is the first time I've shot someone. Miss <laughs> Page, 